Welcome guys. I'm back y'all with another video. <laughs> I'm back y'all. Back, back, back. Yes, I'm back. <laughs> All right. So I wanted to introduce the newest items to you guys first, to my subscribers first, because the last time I introduced, I even started the website. I started the website last month. Um, I really, you guys really didn't get a chance to even know about the products that I had online until a majority of the items were sold out. Okay, so I want to let you guys know firsthand um, and first what's going on. Okay, as far as the website, I did just open back up the website, guys. All right, so there are a few things there. Um that I've been working on for the past couple of weeks. I've just been being hush hush about it. All right, so I want to introduce to you guys my um, my candle here, and she's oh, it's so beautiful, y'all. I have all types of. There's a different type of herbal mix in this to help manifest abundance okay to help manifest your desires okay this candle is going to be on the website okay it's the newest item um and as well guys this oil here was used in this candle okay um this is the newest oil all right <laughs> this is the money bag oil I absolutely love this oil. This oil is going to help you manifest whatever it is that you desire in regards to abundance, um, attracting abundance, prosperity, luck. It's just going to bring that energy to you, okay? You can utilize this oil on your hands. You can use it um, in a ritual. You can use it in your bath. Um, like I said, this candle here does have this oil in it, okay? And there's, you know, there are, uh, there is a herbal mix in here, okay? I'm not going to tell y'all what herbs I use. Um, I'm not going to give y'all my secret, but, you know, it's, it's, that, it's that thing right there, okay? This that thing right there. And I'm so excited about it. Look at that. It smells so good. Now, I can tell you the essential oils that were used. I did use patchouli um, in this oil. So, that's what it's going to smell like. It's going to give you like a... It's unisex. It's, it's a unisex smell. It, it's not a, like a... Like, it just smells like perfume. It is a unisex smell. You can actually like wear it, you know, as a fragrance. But I wanted to let you guys know about that first. Because, like I said, I've... I've I was busy focused on my business page, on my Facebook business page. And you guys can follow me there. Um, Empress Empire Oils and more on Facebook. That was where a lot of my attention was because I had just started that page. And I was trying to get that page together. And I was just posting everything on that page. And I thought about it. And I was like, you know what? My subscribers. My subscribers. And by the time I started listing everything on the, um, on the channel, a lot of things were sold out. Okay. So, I'm going to let you guys in first. I haven't even posted. You know, I haven't even. I've been giving, you know, hints here and there on my business page that I'm getting ready to drop some, you know, a few different items. But I'm going to get to my subscribers first, all right? So if you're interested in purchasing your manifestation candle, that information is going to be in the drop box below. And as well, if you would like to purchase the money bag oil, all right? So all that information is going to be in the drop box below to the website. And you can order your items there, all right? Thank you guys so much for your love and support. All right, so let's talk, guys. Let's see what's the tea. Let's get the tea. <laughs> Let's get the tea. What's the tea? I feel like I want I want to talk about finances and career with this 
simply because like I just feel drawn to that. I just feel like let's talk about our finances. Let's talk about a month, you know, our money and career and work. Let's talk about that energy. Okay. Um, for the ones who want to hear the tea and love, I've done like a multitude of videos already. So you can check that out. I did start making a playlist for What's the Tea, so y'all can check that out over there as well. All right, so let's talk about finances and career. All right, what's the tea? What's going on with finances and career? What message do you have for my subscribers? All right, first, I want to start off with... Um, I want to start off with my angel answers. I love this. Let's see what messages we get. Is there abundance, prosperity in the near future for my subscribers? For those who are watching this, please give them a message in regards to finances and career. Like, things are wanting to jump, but let's see. Ooh, interesting. Like, cards are flipping, but I want them to... Cards are flipping everywhere. <laughs> There we go. Ooh. All right. So I got within the next few months, okay? Within the next few months, Spirit also wants you to know that you should still be assertive, okay? Go after what it is that you want. Be assertive. Know exactly what it is that you want so that it comes to you. Spirit also wants you to know that you should be looking for a sign. Like, you know, a lot of times, you know, for me is angel numbers or, you know, if I'm out and about somewhere, a particular song will come on while I'm thinking about something that reminds me of, you know, money or, you know, okay, this is a new idea. I'm always looking for a sign. You guys should be doing the same thing. Look for a sign, okay? We got don't stop. So whatever it is that you guys are trying to build or work towards and manifest, don't stop because it's going to come to you. All right. And then y'all, let me tell y'all, while you're still working and being assertive, this is the outcome. Okay. We got success. <laughs> I absolutely love it. I absolutely love it. Absolutely. Mine's look for a sign here. Yeah, see, some of you guys are tired of um are tired of feeling worried about money. Okay. Like for some of you, you're yeah, see, look at this. The Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Pentacles and the Justice and the Page of Swords. Yeah, the lovers, like, yes, some of y'all are definitely, like, tired of worrying about your money and your finances. But with the Ten of Pentacles and the Wheel of Fortune, that's things turning around in your favor. That's the universe conspiring in your favor. Okay, so basically, I feel like Spirit is saying, you know, stop worrying. There's nothing to worry about. You know, when you, when you worry, that's what you attract, okay? This candle smells so good, y'all. I want the nine of swords. Man. Three of cups. Yeah. So some of y'all are worried, okay, about the future when it comes to, you know, feeling like you're not going to have enough. Okay. Feeling like you're not going to have enough. Yeah. See, we got the king of pentacles. Spirit is also saying that, you know, a good thing to do as well is to plan ahead. Plan ahead what you're going to do with your money, okay? Be prepared for your money to come to you as well. Start making plans ahead. Start taking action on exactly what it is that you're going to do, okay, with the money when it comes to you, all right? Some of you guys... um. 
I'm hearing the word affirmations as well. Make sure that you are practicing your affirmations. Like, do it. Make it a daily thing. Okay. Ooh, that just jumped out to me. Okay, Page of Cups and the Knight of Cups. Knight of Pentacles. I'm getting, uh, some of you are getting ready to get like small offers like here and there. It may not be things that are really, really huge, like, you know, a big, a big amount of money coming, but it looks like small amounts could be coming, you know, hitting back to back to back in small amounts, okay? I'm seeing that as well, too, for some. All right, so we got Don't Stop. <laughs> Six of Pentacles, the Empress. I see some of you are growing and blossoming to uh, the Empress is definitely, she's very abundant. She's about growth and expansion. And she's very, very abundant and beautiful and confident. The Queen of Wands right behind that. She's, these two cards together is, is the is the epitome of confidence and self self growth self love self care and see i'm getting as well like don't wait to the last minute i'm hearing that for some some of you wait to the last minute um to handle things when it comes to your money spirit wants you to start planning ahead on how you're going to handle your money okay Ooh, we got success. Seven of Pentacles. Oh, that's talking about investing. Okay, Page of Pentacles. Talking about money. Okay. I'm hearing as well, too. Um, don't tell other people your ideas as well, too. God, I mean, y'all, this candle smells so good. Okay. You're not going to be able to control everything. And you have to be okay with not being able to control everything. Yeah, see, I'm getting some of you are... Uh, needing to walk away from something that no longer serves you so you can have this new start this new beginning this is very creative energy here so some of you um have these ideas or have a specific idea that you may not be taking action on okay don't sit on your gifts and your talents okay there's something here about you a gift about you that could definitely uh lead you to success okay Yes, yeah, see, the fool came out in reverse. None of these cards are reversed. Okay, you're you're don't hold yourself back, okay? Because once you hold yourself back, there's this golden opportunity here that is right there. Like it's it's right there, okay? And you have to have the confidence, you have to have the drive, you have to have the willpower, okay, to get what you desire. Three of Pentacles. This is building, working towards something. Four of Wands, stability. So for a lot of you, like the opportunity for success, like real success, is attainable, okay? There's just ideas and things that you may think about all the time, but... Are you putting that extra foot forward to get those things done? Are you using your creative energy? Or are you sleeping on them? Okay. Spirit is wanting you to know, don't stop. Don't give up. Be assertive. Okay. Any more messages? Ooh. For those of you who are already up and rolling and already have something going on, don't slow down. 
right now is definitely not the time to slow down okay it's definitely the time to pick up the pace um others are viewing are viewing you are watching you see yes see we have the ace of wands yes 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 for some of you you may feel like like you feel like alone like you're on this journey or you feel like you're on a journey alone yeah the thing about it is is sometimes it gets lonely at the top okay are you okay with that are you okay with not always having um other people around you to tell you what to do or tell you are you okay with being your own um being in control of your own moves of how you do things I'm getting as well. Some of you um, don't overwork yourself. Because I'm most definitely getting you guys are the Empress. Look at this. Okay. The Empress and the Ten of Cups. <laughs> that is such beautiful energy. That's a very beautiful energy. This is just being self-confident, loving yourself. Like just Fully, full, like just happy. Happy. Okay. Others see you work what you're doing because we got them as the three of pentacles. And some of some someone here sees you. So a lot of you guys just started a business. Ace of Cups and the Three of Pentacles. So this is for someone who's just started a business. They feel like you're keeping things a secret. Four of Pentacles, the Moon, and the Seven of Swords. They feel like you're being too secretive. Um, but the thing about it is, is sometimes you have to do that. Okay. Sometimes you have to be that way. Sometimes you have to be that way. I'm getting a lot of new ideas. I'm getting a lot of new ideas. See, you can do that. When you don't have everybody around you talking, telling you this, doing this, doing that, and when you have time with yourself, when you're okay with yourself and you love yourself, you don't have to have a crowd of people around you all the time. You can actually sit around and enjoy your own company, clear your mind, and think of the things that you need to do for you. I'm not going to lie. You're going to have to fight for this. I'm not going to lie. Like, you're going to have to fight. If if this is you and you just started a business, I'm not even going to lie. You're going to have to fight. You're going to, it's not going to be easy uphill, but I'll tell you one thing for sure, that it is going to progress. It is going to move forward. It is going to grow. Okay. And I feel like uh, as well, too, you have people that's kind of like in the background that's watching you. You may have to cut some people off. Yeah, see, you're going to have to you're going to have to start making some boss decisions. OK, you may have too many people around you. OK, so you're going to have to start paying attention to who's for you and who's not. OK, who's around for the long haul? Who's just here for right now? Yep, I feel like a lot of you are getting ready to start gaining uh start gaining a fan base it's going to start gaining subscribers going to start gaining followers okay things are just going to be like moving along and you're going to be extremely excited about it but you got to be careful who you who you have around you okay 
You're leaving a lot of toxic things behind. I got the Six of Swords, the Hermit, and the Devil. Okay. The World card is saying that you're wrapping this chapter up. You're closing this chapter out on things that no longer serve you. It's time. Even if even if you you don't really, you know, for some of you. You may not want to let go of certain things that you're attached to, certain people, certain things. It's time to wrap up certain chapters that things that no longer serve you, bad habits, things that you do kind of like in the dark that nobody really knows about, you know, things like that. It's time to wrap those chapters up. You have a goal and you have things that you need to manifest right now. So you're going to have to make sure that you are aligned. And you got the right people around you, okay? Because see, look at this. This is what I say. Look at what's right behind that, the King of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. In order for you to get to manifest this, you're going to have to, some people, everybody can't go. I can see you were really stuck in your head a lot. You were really stuck in your head a lot, okay? With the Eight of Swords and the Nine of Swords. Something in the past had you thinking a lot. Kind of like in your feelings. And I feel like it, it puts you in the overdrive with the Two of Wands and the Queen of Swords. It made you think about who you need to cut off, okay? Um, because for some of you, this could be family that you may have decided to cut off. It looks like there's a lot of, of a nasty energy here, okay? And I feel like it's something that you decided that you no longer like. You don't have the energy for it. You don't have the, you don't feel the love from it. You don't feel the genuineness from it. You don't feel it. Like it's, it's I don't feel like you, you um, can get with the energy. You know what I'm saying? Like, so some of you decided that you're going to cut someone off in communication like you're done. So it looks like some of you already made a decision that you're not going to carry this energy, this eight of swords and nine of swords energy into your future. Okay. You're definitely looking ahead with the Empress and the Ten of Cups energy. I feel like that's goals. Like you got goals of being, um, just being great. And you're not about to let nobody stop you. Yeah, see, if you got to cut somebody off for your own stability, then you're willing to do it. Others are seeing what you have going on. They see it. But like I said, they feel like you're being too secretive. Like you aren't, like you trying to hide Some of y'all are like so impatient. Like I'm literally saying, I don't want to wait on my money. I want to get my money now. I want to get my my bankroll now. I want to get this now. And the thing about it is, is you have to align. You have to align yourself to attract the things that you want. Okay. And <laughs> Do you feel like somebody's holding up your money? Do you feel like somebody's blocking your blessings? Do you feel like certain energies are like kind of in the way and putting delays on, you know, your blessings? Somebody didn't know that you had this in you, okay? And you may feel like somebody's trying to stop you or block you. I feel like that's what it is. You feel like somebody's trying to block you from shining. I think we talked about that the other day. But look, what's for you is going to be for you. What your focus should be is how you're going to progress, how you're going to move forward, plot, plan, strategize. For a lot of you, y'all need to get a goal book. Y'all need to get um, a vision board. Y'all need to start scripting, you know, to get your life in order on how you want things to go so it'll manifest the way that you want to manifest. Okay, you got to get serious about it. All right, so I hope this reading was helpful, guys. Make sure that you like, comment, share with your family and your friends, um, as well as support the channel, guys. Support, support, support. And make sure that you head over to the website, guys. I want to let you know that I am currently running a sale, okay? It is a site-wide sale. Um, so um, whatever you order, you can get 20% off your entire order. You can use the code TAKE20 at checkout. Okay, it's going to be at checkout. You could just type it in. 
um, and it'll give you 20% off of your order. All right. Until next time, my loves. Ciao.